everybody got their own religion, got their own belief, and for some dumb reason, hmm. think you're justified. Right. If there's one God, and it is, I want you to hear me so I can roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. Hmm. There's only one God, and God don't have a smorgasbord. No. Jennings is talking back to Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a miracle. How did that happen? How did that happen? Glory to God. God don't have an open buffet like Golden Corral. No. That you can choose the religion of your choice. That's right. God have never, hear me good viewers, set up the scriptures. So you can choose passages of scriptures, then start a religion around that passage of scripture. That's right. Let me make an example. What of God say how God rests on the seventh day from his creation? Mm -hmm. The seventh day. Somebody read that and went and started seven day adventures. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Children of Israel come together during the Feast of Weeks. And then the New Testament and say when the day of Pentecost was fully come, somebody saw that term, started the Pentecostal church. That's right. Somebody read the scripture and talk about the laying on hands of the presbytery. Oh, they hijacked that word. Yeah. Start the Presbyterian church. Mm -hmm. They saw the birth of Jesus, his name, and the title Christ. And then the followers was first called Christians at Antioch. Right. They hijacked that name and took and started a heading, Christianity. That's right. And I want everybody to know there's not a religion in the Bible nowhere. nowhere. That's called Christianity. I know that shocked some of you. That's right. Because you thought that was your religion. <laughs> God have never at no time claimed a religion and called it Christianity. No. That's what your pastor called it. That's right. That's what your mama called it. That's what your daddy called it. Right. Go to the Bible. That's right. You hear me pleading with you over the air, come back to the Bible. Right. Come on back. The reason why I tell you come back, because you left it. That's right. I'm telling you, come back. <laughs> That's right. I remember talking to a Muslim one day, Nation of Islam. <coughs> We got to talking about religion, and I asked him, is God a Muslim? He never had no one ask him that before. Mm -hmm. He looked and got happy. He said, brother, <laughs> no one ever asked me that. He said, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> he said, alhamdulillah to me. I said, Allah, Allah, warfak, Allah, Allah, warfak. In other words, he got happy. I got happy along with him because I knew where I was going. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he said, yes, brother. God is a Muslim. Hmm. I said, what do Muslim or Islam mean? He said, one that submits to God. I said, so if God is a Muslim, like you said, who do God submits to? Hmm. He looked. I said, my God submits to no one. That's right. <laughs> My God don't submit to nobody. That's right. There's nobody higher than God, equal to God. God have no rivals. God have no partners. God have no associates. No. Right. Hear me good, Trinitarians? That's right. Amen. There ain't no little God help the Almighty make the heavens and the earth. No. Hear me good, Jehovah Witnesses? That's right. Jehovah ain't a big God, and Jesus is a sidekick like Batman and Robin. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. He says, Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is what? One. 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 That's the foundation of truth. That's right. The foundation of truth is how many gods it is and who is that God? Who is it? And if you don't know who is God, your whole worship is no good. That's right. 
Listen at this now. For it hath been declared unto me. Here, chapter you, and verse again. Still in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 11. It hath been told me. Of you, my of brother. Of you, my brother. By them which are of the house of Chloe. That what? That there are contentions among you. There's some type of contention. There's some confrontations going on among God's people in Chloe's house. Now this I say, uh -huh. that every one of you uh -oh. saith, I am of Paul. Look at here. <laughs> Amen. That's what's going on now. That's right. Listen at the Apostle Paul break it down. Paul born in Tarsus mm -hmm. in the city of Cilicia. Brother Paul sat under the feet of a man named Gamaliel, who the word of God said was a Pharisee, a doctor of the law. Mm -hmm taught Paul according to the perfect manner of the law. Paul was a Hebrew. He came out the first tribe that ever gave Israel a king, which is the tribe of Benjamin, the youngest son of Jacob. Right. From Benjamin, you have the Benjamites. Pastor mm -hmm. Paul was on his way to Damascus to do the devil's bidding. That's right. God interfered with him. That's one of the best days of your life is when God interfere with your life. That's right. That's the best day. That's right. A light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun. Knocked Brother Paul down to the earth and God spoke from heaven. God, spoke. God did. God. And what did he say? And he fell to the earth in chapter verse. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 4. He, he fell to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him. Saying what? Saul, Saul. Saul, Saul. Why persecutest thou me? What you bothering me for? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. If the Lord said he is Jesus, who you say he is? That's right. The Lord said, I am Jesus. The Lord gave his name. <laughs> yes, he did. And if the Lord, nobody knows his name better than him. That's right. What do you look like arguing with me? Your name ain't Gino. What up? <laughs> That's right. I know you better than you know you don't. No. God talk here. That's right. I said, God talk here. And he fell to the earth. Fell and, to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him. And said what? Saul, Saul, why persecutest Saul, thou me? Saul. Why persecutest why thou me? Why are you persecuting me? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Somebody said, the Bible didn't say God was talking. I want to balance this balance out. Give out. me Psalms. Psalms 100. Chapter 100. And at verse 3. And verse 3, then we'll alternate back with Acts 9 and 4. Five. Amen. So Amen. You mm -hmm. see, I got to go to the Old Testament and sock you there. Right. And I got to get the New Testament and sock you there. And once I hit you with the left and hit you with the right, I knock you in the middle of Scripture. That's right. You said there wasn't God talking to Paul. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the Lord. Psalms 100 and verse 3. The Bible says, who art thou? Who art thou, Lord? Lord. Lord. And... The Lord said, the Lord, the Lord said, the Lord said, I am Jesus. Now let's read who the Lord is. Psalms 100 and verse 3. What? Know ye that the Lord. Know ye. Hear me. Hear, hear you old hypocrite. That's right. The Bible says, know ye. That the Lord. That the. The Lord. One. That's right. Who is the Lord? He is God. And what the Acts 9, 5 says? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who you say he is, hardhead? That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. And the Old Testament says what? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Well, Pastor Genesis, Jesus is another Lord, and Jehovah is another Lord, so that's two. Give me Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 5. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 5. One Lord. What? One Lord. How many don't know how many can't count the one? Don't know how many one is. That's right. Raise your hand and show me your stupidity. That's right. How many? One Lord. One how Lord. many? One Lord. And King David said in Psalms, who was what? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And when the Lord gave his name in Acts 9, 5, who did he tell Paul who he was? And the Lord said, oh, I Wait, wait, wait. And what? And the Lord said. The Lord said it? The Lord said. 
The Lord said it. The Lord said. The Lord said it. The Lord said. You got to be That's a servant right. of hell. That's right. To dispute what the Lord said. What the Lord said. And now you're going to be that dumb and tell me the Lord don't know himself. Amen. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Whom thou persecutest. Whom thou persecutest. So there was an argument mm. in mm. the house of Chloe. That's beautiful, bro. It is beautiful. That's beautiful. An argument. There are contentions among you. Go back and give chapter and verse. I want to take my time and show you because the same contention that exists then exists now. That's right. Uh -huh. First Corinthians chapter 1, we're at verse 12. Follow me. Now this I say, that every one of you <coughs> saith, I am of Paul. Every one of you say, I am of Paul. And I of Apollos. Another group say, I am with Apollos. And I of Cephas. Another group say, I'm with Cephas or Peter. And I of Christ. Another group say, I ain't with none of y'all. I'm a, I'm a Christian. Is Christ divided? No. That's it. Amen. No, Christ is not divided. That's right. Christ is not divided. That's right. Hear this. And is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified? For Paul didn't die for you. Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? That let you know, don't you get so caught up in Paul. That's right. Even though he was an apostle of the truth, don't you get caught up in Paul. That's right. Because Paul ain't said nothing. That's right. So I said, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, all that writing Paul did, I said, yeah, Paul ain't said nothing. That's right. Which at the first. I said, Paul. Paul did. Paul ain't said nothing. No, he didn't. Let me show you how this stuff was done through Paul. Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 3. What happened? How shall we escape? If how we shall we escape if we neglect? So great salvation. How was this salvation preached? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. By who? The Lord preached this first. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. The Lord preached this first. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Then how did we get it? And was confirmed Then it was us. confirmed. That's it. The apostles confirmed the teachings that they got from the Lord to us. By them that heard him. They heard him. That's it. They, they heard him. Amen. Hallelujah. They heard him. That's right. They didn't hear them. No, him. I hear him. That, that's right. You out there hear them. That's why you're so confused. That's right. Getting up in the morning praying to some cross with an image on it. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and in the hospital, in the name of the Father, the name of the Holy Ghost. Walking down the street or on the bus. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. The Bible ain't tell you pray to them. No. The Bible teaches us to pray to Him. Now, therefore, O oh, our God. Hear this? Now in the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 17. Now therefore. Oh, our God. Do what? Hear the prayer. Wait. Go back. Do what? Now therefore. Now therefore. Oh, our God. Oh. Oh. I want to make it plain oh. so folks can hear. That's right. Oh. Our. Our. God. G-O-D. G-O-D. Uh -huh. Hear the prayer. Hear the prayer. Of thy servant. That's all. I want to hear me. Oh, Lord. One. Oh, Lord. Hear. <laughs> amen. Amen. Hey, amen. Oh, Lord. Hear. Oh, Jesus. Hear. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord and said, the Lord said, I am Jesus. And who is he saying he wants to hear? Oh, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, Lord. Hear. Hallelujah. You know, when you want the Lord to hear your prayer, you want God to hear your prayer. And when God hear your prayer, that's Jesus answering your prayer. Are you understanding? The Lord is his title. God is his title. But Jesus is his name. And Christ is his function. That's right. Are you getting me? Oh, Lord, hear! You Trinitarians can't get this thing right to save your life. That's right. Many, many, many operations. Hallelujah. By the one God. That's right. 
And the Bible tells us this. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we'll start at verse 4. Follow me. Now there are diversities of gifts. They are different kind of gifts but the same spirit same spirit and there are div differences of administration there are difference in administration but the same lord but it's put together by the same law and there are diversities of operation there are different operations there are different functions there are different deeds but, but what but it is the same god oh no it's not it's another one it is the same god which worketh... Wait, 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 wait now. Amen. Hallelujah. You better read that again. First Corinthians chapter 12 and we're at Everybody verse 6. Everybody that's praying to more than one God, use a blind devil to see food. That's right. Your pastor, your imam, your rabbi, I don't care who you are. That's right. If you're trying to talk to more than one God, you're a fool. That's right. Eh? First Corinthians 12 and verse what 6. What did he say? And there are diversities of operation. They are different. Operations, but it is the same God. Wait a minute, hallelujah! Same God, it is the yeah. go ahead that make it rain in one place. Go ahead, same God, same God, make it snow simultaneously. That's right, in another place. That's right, same God, let the sun shine. Yes, no interference with weather. That's right, in another place. Go ahead, same God, bring an earthquake. Yeah. Same time. Same time. In another place. That's right. Same God bring a tsunami. Yeah. In another place. Oh, yeah. Same God bring a famine. Yeah. At the same time. That's right. In another place. That's right. Same God while the sun is shining interfere with thunder. That's right. Make it clap. Glory to God in the heavens. That's right. What did he say? And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God. Same God. Not Same three God. separate distinct personalities. No. Your schizophrenic thing, you. That's right. One God. It is the same God. Unlimited operations by this one God. Which worketh all. He work all. In all. And in all. In all. Mm. That's, that's what my God does. That's right. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. That's the God of Moses and Joshua and led Israel through the Red Sea. That's that God. That's it. That's that God Same that made God. Aaron rod. Hallelujah. Bug. Amen. Moses threw down the rod and it turned to a serpent, then swallow up all other rods. That's right. Same God came to the land of Egypt and wiped out the firstborn, thank God, of every Egyptian. That's right. Same God talked from the heavens, then opened up the Red Sea and Pharaoh's behind Israel, but the waters opened up for God's people. That's right. That's right. Same God put on a body and called it a son. Go ahead. And left an example here on earth, went to the cross and died, pushed him in the side, Hallelujah. out came blood and water. That's right. Same God went to the lower parts of the earth, quickened that body, glory Father, and let it stay around here a little bit longer. That's right. Same God took that glorified body and ascended above all heaven. That's right. Same God is the Holy Ghost Go in the church. That's right. Hallelujah. It is the same God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Same God. Which worketh all in all. He work all all in all. In all. That's Glory right. Take God. That's right. Same one. Same God. Don't need no help. No. No. Oh, no. Bible says, when I looked, there was none to help. That's right. When I wondered, there was none to uphold. That's right. But with his own arm, bless God, he brought salvation. That's right. Are you listening? Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 12. Hallelujah. What did he say? Now this I say that every one of this you. This I say that every, every one, one of, of you. you saith, I am a Paul. You say. I am of Paul. That's the way many of you are with yeah. religion. Yeah. This group say, I'm Pentecostal. That's right. This group say, I'm apostolic. Yeah. This group say, I'm non-denominational. That's right. This group say, I'm Jesus only. Right. This group say, I'm Presbyterian. Yeah. This group say, I'm Catholic. Mm -hmm. Another one, Mormon. Another one, Hebrew Israelite. Another one, Muslim. Another one, Sunni Muslim. Yeah. Another one, Shiite Muslim. That's Another right. one, Nation of Islam Muslim. Yeah. Oh, yes. Every one of you. 
every one of you. Every one of you saith, I am Apollos. Say, I am Apollos. And I am Apollos. I am of Apollos. And I am Cephas. Of Peter. And I am Christ. Christ. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Did any of these men die for you other than Jesus? Or were you baptized were in you the baptized name of Paul? Were you baptized in Paul's name? I thank God. I thank God. And I baptized none of you. But what? But Crispus and Gaius. And what? Lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. Yes. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Uh-huh. Besides, I know not whether I baptized Now the apostle hmm. laid down work. That's right. And began to put things in order. That's right. He asked, was Christ divided? Is Christ Did divided? Did Christ start the multi-religions that exist today? That's right. And all of you religions that hide in some church, you claim that you're worshiping Christ. Christ. So my question is now that Paul asks then. Is Christ divided? Is Christ? You better give me the book of Matthew, I believe, chapter 16. Yeah. Let's see how many churches did Christ say he going to start. <laughs> That's right. Because somebody told a lie, and I don't think it's Christ. That's right. Matthew chapter 16, and we're at verse 18. Come on, viewers. Come on back to the Bible. Follow me Follow. in your Bible. You might as well get ready to do it. I know you don't want to because you're afraid that the Bible is going to strip you and make you naked. That's right. Oh, that God, but your bed is too short. Your big old feet is hanging out. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? Matthew eh? chapter 16 and verse 18. Follow me. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock. Upon this rock. I will build. Jesus talking. Je- and Jesus answered. Jesus talking. And Jesus answered. Fifth chapter and verse. Matthew chapter 16. We'll start at verse 17. All right. And Jesus answered and said unto him, eh? Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. <coughs> Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. Flesh and blood did not make it known to you, but the Spirit of God that is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. And? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against All me. right, viewers, hear me, your hard head, stubborn, Bible-carrying, church-going things out there. That's right. Who started your religion? Right. Paul asks, is Christ divided? Is Christ divided. Yeah. And Jesus said, I will build my church. That's right. So who started your church, viewers? That's right. That's right. Amen. Get this. That's right. Who started your church? Amen. Who started it? Who started it? Who started the Catholic Church? Write me. Mm. You better not tell me Jesus did. I make you find it. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who started the Mormon Church? According to the Mormon history, there was an angel named Mermon <laughs> who visited a pervert in upstate New York. That's right. By the name of Joseph Smith, he was a pervert. That's right. You had a pervert for a founder. Amen. And he was up there, upstate New York, and the devil appeared him to him named Ramon. Yeah. And there's supposed to have been some sacred writings under the rock. Mm-hmm. And he got a piece of the rock, some good insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where the Book of Mormons supposed to come, come from. The, na- the angel name was Mermon. Ramon. Which showed they're not following Christ. No. Because they called themselves more men's, yeah. meaning followers of the angel Mermon. That's right. When did God send any angel from heaven and send the angels to start a religion? That's right. That's right. Here, 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 good. You That's two right. elders walking up and down the streets of America. That's right. And everybody in the neighborhood knocking on their doors like you's a group of fake Jehovah Witnesses. Amen. Come on, you dynamic duels. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock. I will build my church. I'll build it. That's Who right. Who started your religion, viewers? That's right. Who started it? Who started it? You say you're Lutherans. Lutherans were started by a man named Luther, mm-hmm. who originally was a Catholic. That's right. And he had religious grievances. Yes. Yeah of religious beliefs and practices of the Catholic Church. That's right. And he opposed the Pope. That's right. And as a result of such, Mr. Luther started his own religion. 
Lutherans were followers of Mr. Luther, That's not right. Lex Luther. Uh -huh. That's right. But Mr. Luther, who was an original Catholic follower. Yeah. He broke off and started his belief. His belief. And those that congregated with Luther That's right. called themselves Lutherans. Yeah. Not followers of Jesus. No. Followers of Luther. That's right. That's right. Order in the church. That's right. Is Christ divine? You come along, started the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And you said that John, the one that baptized Jesus, yeah. his religion was Baptist. That's a lie so far out of hell. I wonder how did it got out, but it's out, and we got to blow it, smack it back. Blow it, that's right. I want to say, well, what does it mean, John the Baptist? Yeah. It's talk about his occupation. That's right. John the Baptist. Mean John the baptizer. The baptizer. John religion wasn't Baptist. No. Because John preached Jesus. That's right. There was a man sitting God. John preached Jesus so strong until John discredited himself. St. John chapter 1 and at verse 6. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen at this. St. John chapter 1 and verse 6. Follow me in the Bible. I want to take you to school today. That's right. St. John chapter 1 and verse 6. All right. There was a man sent from God. There was a man sent from God. Whose name was John. He didn't say it was a religion sent from God. No. A man sent from God. There was a man sent from God. Whose name was John. And Jesus preached John and said of them, born of a woman. That's right. There's not a greater prophet than John. That's right. Uh -huh. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Yes. That all men through him might believe. Wait a minute. The same. The same came, came. for a witness. John was here for a witness. To bear witness to of the light. To bear witness of Jesus. That all men through that him all might believe. That all men through him might become believers. He was not that light. What? He was not that light. Every Baptist might as well sit down and start over. That, that's right. You that blame John for your religion, you're a liar because you, now you put yourself in a sad predicament Same. because the Bible said about John he situation. Was, he was not that light. So that means Baptist is a religion of darkness guiding people to hell. That's right. That's the Bible right. speaks plain. St. John chapter 1 and verse 8. He was not that John light. John was not the light, but what? But was sent to bear witness of that light. He was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light. Uh, <laughs> Amen. That was what? That was the true light. And you gonna tell me don't matter what religion you go to. My Lord. And what church you join. Amen. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Wonderful. This is a thinking message today. Oh, yes. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Think of it. Your father is a Baptist. Your mother is a morning star of the Ma or Eastern star from the Masons. Your son is Jehovah Witness. Your other brother is non-denominational. Your grandfather is apostolic. Here you have a husband who's a Pentecostal sleeping with a Muslim, and she's birthing little Antichrist. <laughs> That's right. Is Christ divided? What? Is Christ divided? Hallelujah. All these religions under on one sheet. That's true. Huh? That's true. At the head of the table, there's a Pentecostal. That's At the right. other end of the table, there's a non-denominational. Right. At the other plate of grits, there's a, there's a uh, Baptist. And on the other side, getting some home fries, is a Catholic. <laughs> That's right. Is Christ divided? Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Hate me much as you want. I don't care. Come back to Bible. That's right. Find your religion in the Bible. That's it. That book that you claim you believe. Amen. If you believe it, you will go and investigate it. And if your religion is not in there after the investigation is over, over. you will back out. That's right. From that religion. That's right. You won't let nobody know what you are. No. You be out there bragging. I'm Baptist giving pamphlets. Have you accept Christ today? Yeah. Have you accept Christ today? Did you hear this message? <laughs> That's right. You started going home investigating. Where the Baptist church at? Baptist, hmm. Baptist church. Where the Baptist? What chapter and verse is the Baptist church in? That's right. That's and right. you come up blank. Blank. Amen. Next time you see that person outside. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Mr. Baptist. Why you ain't got nothing to say? That's right. Mm. <laughs> That's right. I found out I wasn't in the Bible. That's it. That's right. Viewers, this is serious business. Oh, yeah. The world is populated with religions. Oh, yes. And God himself Amen. told us what to you? be That's one right. thing. That's right. That's Think right. of it. Not your mama, not your father, ahead, not brother. your relatives, not your family tree. That's right. Jehovah. Jehovah. I am oh, that yes. I am. That's right. Told the world That's right. what to be. In Leviticus chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. You mean to tell me you more committed to some religion yeah. that God did not tell you to be? That's right. Right. You go to religions because they talk about your color. Black this, black that, black the other, black power, blue power, brown power. <laughs> Others, your white power, white this, white that, oh, white yeah. the other. Oh, yeah. Well, right, what do God care about your That's color? Right, he know yeah. what color you are. That's right. He made your stubborn self. That's right. You ain't going to walk. You're not right because of your color. Is no. that what you think? No. You mean to tell me you think you're right because you black? You's a black fool. Mm -hmm. Hear the old troublemaker now. I want the rosha while I got you. In Leviticus chapter 19, we'll start at verse you 1. You think you're righteous because you're white? You, mm -hmm. Are you that dumb, be that dumb to believe such hellionism? <laughs> That's right. You's a white fool. Oh, yes. God don't care what color you are. No. God want the world. That's right. To be the same thing. That's it. And God declared in the book of Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19, we're at verse 1. What did God say? And the Lord spake unto Moses, The saying, Lord. The Lord. Not Jennings. The Lord spake. That's why I preach so hard so, to smash this black racist religion and white Racist, I can't even count the amount of emails that come in from Hebrew Israelites. When are you going to tell your followers that the black people are Abraham's seed? I wouldn't care if you were mustard seed. <laughs> if that seed don't obey God, don't that obey old God. seed going to go to hell. That's right. That's right. They're writing me now telling me I'm of the devil because I'm bald-headed. Right in me. He, Hebrew Israelites is right in me. You and Williams up there, uh, bald headed, and uh, you ain't got no beard, Pastor Jennings. Why you ain't got no beard? I ain't got a beard because I don't want none. <laughs> That's right. That's why. That's right. That's why I don't have one. No. Well, you got to wear a beard. I ain't got to wear a beard to be right with God. No. You think your beard going to get you to the kingdom? That's right. You can have a beard and be sleeping with a man. Oh, yeah. You and your beard that go to hell. That's right. Get me? That's right. What did the Lord say be? And, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. When uh, Hebrew Israelite wrote me and said, the whole Bible is written to Israel. What a fool. What a if fool. If the whole Bible was written to Israel, why would Cornelius be right? That's right. Cornelius wasn't a Hebrew. Cornelius wasn't an Italian. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Hell? And the Lord spake unto Moses. The Lord! Amen. I want all my black, Hallelujah. brown, yellow brothers and sisters to get this that's getting caught up in the Hebrew uh, masana that black people, this black people, that your blackness will not get you on God's good side. No, uh, what then? Do you hear this? In Romans chapter 3 and at verse 9. Uh, Paul said, what then? Are we better than they? Are, are we better than they? No. In no wise. And Paul was a Hebrew of the Hebrew. That's right. Wasn't it? What I then? said Paul was a Hebrew of the Hebrew. That's right. And Paul asked the question here. What then? What then? Are we better than they? Are you better than everybody else? No. No. In no wise. It ain't happening. For we have before proved. We have before proved. Proved. Both Jews. Both Jews. And Gentiles. And all other ethnic groups. That they are all under sin. Hallelujah. 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 Do you hear this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? What then? What then? Are we better than they? Oh, we thank God. Hallelujah. Are you better than they? No. No. That's right. I don't care if you're on every corner with your clothes on like Alibaba <laughs> and the 40 Thieves. That's right. 
You can stand there and cuss out white folk, black folk, do whatever you want. What? That's if right. you think you're better than anybody else Go ahead. because of the color of your dirty skin, the Bible says. What then are we what? better than they? Sin. Are we better than they? Are you better than everybody else? No. The Bible says what? No. The Bible says what? No. What the Bible say, church? No. What did he say? No. What did he say? No. In no wise. Not in no wise. For we have before proved. The apostle said he proved. Both Jews, both Jews and, Gentiles and Gentiles. That they are all under you sin. You're all under sin. As it is written. As it is written. There is none righteous. It is documented. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You go ahead, brother. <laughs> As it is Before written. Oh, you were born. As it is written. Lord, they got this thing with documented. That's right. Eh? There is none righteous. There is none right. No. No. Not. Not one. Not one. Hallelujah. The black, the white, all of you wrong. That's right. <laughs> That's Everybody right. got to repent. Everybody. Every, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody. 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 Preach it. Preach it. Give me Acts. Amen. Chapter Acts. 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. Amen. Oh, yes. God wants you to repent. Amen. God wants you sorry about your wicked life that you live in. That's what God wants. That's right. He wants you to repent of your sins. Be sorry. Be convicted in your heart for li at living like a fool. Young man, you know you're living out here like a fool. Mm -hmm. You got your hair starting to want your hair to grow long like a woman. What's the matter with you? Matter with then you want your friends to look at you as a man. But yet you got your hair long like a woman. And then you want to put on your wife Bobby pin, your sister Bobby pin, That's and right. wear a man bun. What's the matter with you? Matter it ain't no sissy Christians. No. God said he made man in his image. That's right. God made me a man, brother. <laughs> That's right. In every way. In every way. In, in every way. <laughs> That's right. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. Repent. Just stand together, not married. Get some self respect and self decency. Break that up and stop shacking up. Well, that's the way my mother, I said my mother did like that. If you see a mother jump out, that'd be the whole Old folks ain't too long for making it right. And tomorrow, get some happy. Stop living together, not married. some clothes on That's it. and get them out your house. That's it. I'm shacking up. Wonderful. You ain't married. Stop living together, not married. married. If you're not a hoe, stop living like one. That's right. Get that ankle chain off. Yeah. What do an ankle chain and Jesus got in common? Mm. Are you listening? That's right. Well, I think it make my legs look cute. You's a liar. That's a lie. Take that thing off and wash them old ankles of yours. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What them long fingernails? You think them long fingernails, all that plastic make you look cute? Yeah. Why don't you be real? You got all that fake plastic on your nails, rhinestone nails all painted up. Yeah. Just best be the way God made you. You don't know what to do with yourself. You got your tongue pierced, your nose pierced, That's navel right. pierced. You got your breast pierced. Yeah. Pierced off. Why? 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 Why have you butchered yourself like this? Yeah. Why did you put all these holes in you? Sit around and hang out all night, friends all around your house like roaches. Amen. Smoking and drinking, and you young man that's hanging around a bunch of men who's about nothing. Mm -hmm. Woman, your mouth is just as filthy as a man. Every, every three words is cussing. Right. MF, SOB, this. You're not even a lady. Amen. You out there all out. Hey, what's up, B? You call your fellow girls bees, and he call his fellow boys pimps. That's right. The bees and the pimps. That's right. Hallelujah. Sad how society have gone. Oh, yeah. Sad. And the preachers have went to sleep on the job. Isn't it ironic? Out of all these mega preachers, none of them is preaching about the correction of the world no. and how the world need God. That a mega preacher in America or the world, that alone let you know that devil sent them. That's right.
The devil sent them all with one message, and that message is a distraction. Oh, yeah. They fall in love with materialism and fall out of love with God. You better repent now, Boston. Okay. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. This is the true way of getting right with God, the scriptural way. That's right. God ain't say bow your head and raise your hand. Your old lying preacher said it. Yeah. God ain't never say hold a preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer. Let that dirty hand alone. <laughs> That's right. The Bible ain't never say that. The Bible ain't say touch the screen no. and God going to come in your heart. The only thing going to happen, your hand going to get warm. That's, That's it. it. That's it. You touched the screen a lot of times, didn't you? I didn't, I didn't do that. You first. didn't do that? I don't, I don't believe I did that. You didn't go that far? I didn't go that far. I, I didn't encourage you I can't you to remember do that. that, Pastor. I don't yeah. think but I... He used, to, he used to hang with <laughs> Shambach. <laughs> William used to hang... In fact, Shambach laid hands on him. Oh, my Lord. That's why I got to stay on him. Here we go. Make sure Shambach don't rise oh, up in him. Oh, my Lord. Pastor, that was the past, He Pastor. teamed up with Shambach. <laughs> he teamed up with Reverend Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loved Robert Tilton. Quite a bit of fellows that he used to like. My Lord, my Lord. In fact, he had a little blessed cloth from yes. for Reverend Knight. Yes. Reverend Knight. Yes. Zoom the camera on him, Jason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Those were the old days. Old days, Pastor. Old days. But for some of you, <laughs> what I just mentioned are present days for some of you. Oh, yes. You know, you are blessed God knows when God deliver you from a pulpit liar. That's right. It's a, one of the greatest blessings under the sun. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. How what? In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter's preached that you were born a sinner. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Sinner is one that commit. A-C-T-S, acts, plural, of sin. Yeah. Nobody was born a sinner, no. but everybody was born in sin, singular. Yeah. And the sin that we were born with was an inherited sin. That inherited sin fell upon us as a result of the transgression of the first man, Adam. Yeah. He fell and transgressed against God as a result of that. Everyone that was born after Adam was born in a world with sin and shaped into iniquity. That's right. God came manifest in the flesh, which was Jesus Christ himself, walked here on earth in a human body. The body was not God, but the spirit of God that was in the body, that was God. And God used that body as a pattern, as an example, to show you and I how to live right and show you and I how, what do God expect out of us. That's right. Nobody can leave a better example for us than God. That's right. To get your sins washed away, God instituted a new birth. new birth. He told Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and of the spirit. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the spirit, you're filled with the spirit by the spirit, which is the spirit, the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongue, as the spirit of God give utterance. And when you speak in tongue, it ain't something that a preacher can turn on and turn off. That's right. It's as the spirit, the spirit give, give utterance. That's when God come upon you. Yeah. Not going to some fake revival and some lie get up and say, when I count to three, you're going to speak in tongue. One, two, three. And a bunch of nuts get up. <laughs> if any of you ever went to a church and done that, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. No. You may be filled with Casper, but you ain't got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's right. You just got an old spook in you. That's it. Repent and be baptized, oh, repent. every one God of you. And be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For the removing, for the washing away of your sins. And the Lord promised. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the Ghost. promises unto you and to your children and to them that is afar off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. What of God said, the Lord hath spoken. He hath called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. There's anybody here today want to get right the Bible way, not some man-made cheap religion that can set up some fake salvation. If you want to get right the Bible way and want to escape the judgment that God is bringing upon the world, God has sent me in this earth like it was in the days of Noah. They didn't believe Noah preaching, yeah. and they mocked him. Many don't believe me. They make mock of me. That's right. But it don't change. The Lord is coming. That's right. And it ain't going to be no flood upon the earth this time with water. No. It's going to be fire. fire. Huh? Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Stand on your feet if you want it. Glory to God. Amen. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go right to the back. All of you that are standing, 
Go right to the back, all of you that are standing. Hallelujah. And ain't nobody born again until you got this. That's right. If you bow your head and raise your hand, you ain't born again. You no more save than a duck and smoke, crack and shoot dice and That's come right. up with the number seven every time you roll them. You bet. It ain't nobody been saved by your head and raise your hand. I accept Christ as my self personal say Ain't nobody in the Bible ever did that. No, nobody. Nobody. You're not saved. You've been lied to. That's right. When I was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus ain't tell you to be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. Jesus said be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And you can't be baptized in the name unless you know the name. That's right. So when the preacher took you down in water and said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, he didn't do what Jesus told you to do. No. Jesus said, do it in, in the, the name. 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 I got a name. I'm a son by birth, a husband by marriage, a father, because we got seven kids. Yeah. But if I tell you to do something in my name, are you going to say son, husband, and father? No, you're going to call my name Genesis. That's right. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's it. So the preacher must call the Lord's name, like Jesus said. That's do it right. in the name of. Oh. So for you to know the name of, I got to call the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And what is that name? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So if any of you was baptized and the preacher just said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you still ain't baptized, right? That's right. You just wet. That's it. Amen. And you're not saved. You're not a Christian. You've just been deceived and tricked by another pulpit liar who may be your father. Yeah. Your uncle, your granddaddy, your brother, your boyfriend, your slap happy old grandpappy. That's right. You're going to come back and do it like the Bible said do it. All right, who give me the correct time, brothers? Let us all stand. Hallelujah. They'll be getting themselves ready for baptism, God willing. We're going to ask uh, Minister Lionel to close us out in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, eternal Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.